This is the story of the amazing pig. Before we hear about this amazing pig, we must hear about his owner, the villager. The villager is a poor man living in a small village with his seven daughters, his wife, his son, and a pig. The peasant is setting out for a trip to see the mighty king. But why would a peasant be visiting a mighty king, one might ask. And the answer is quite simple. The king had a beautiful daughter. One day, the king let it be known to the entire country that he would give the princess in marriage to any man who could tell him something he did not believe. When the peasant heard of an offer as good as this one, he knew he couldn't turn it down and knew exactly what he had to do. When the peasant arrived, there were already lines of people attempting to see the king, but with no luck. After seeing hundreds of disappointed faces leave the castle, the peasant knew it was finally his turn. Trying to be polite, the peasant said to the king, Good day, your majesty. The peasant knew he had to get started on that pig of his, or he was never going to win the princess. The king asks the peasant, Can you support a wife? The peasant responds, Oh yes, your majesty. I could support her very well. You see, your highness, my father has a pig. This was no help to the peasant, though, as the king responds, I believe you. The peasant continues to plead. He's an amazing pig, your majesty. Ever since I can remember, he has provided for my father, me mother, and me seven sisters and me. I believe you, responded the king. He gives us as much milk every morning as any cow. I believe you, said the king. In your majesty, he lays the most delicious eggs for breakfast. I believe you. The peasant is pleading to have a pig that not only produces milk, produces eggs, this pig can take care of a whole family. Does the king really believe him? The peasant describes that his pig can regenerate bacon to the sides of his ribs to feed his family. He can also go out fishing for them. He can eat the rats in the house. This pig can do it all. Even with all these amazing attributes, the king still could only reply with, I believe you. What could the peasant say now? If the king believes this, the king will believe everything. Find out what the peasant says by reading The Amazing Pig by Paul Galden.